Hey guys, I'm here and it is Twilight. I wonder if you can guess which book I'm going to be talking about today. Book slash slash series. I'm here to talk about today. Twilight! The book that basically started all fandoms. I don't really remember any book before Twilight where it got as big of a franchise as Twilight did, especially in the teen region. And so, I got my Bella plaid on, and I think we're ready to rock this. So, Twilight. Okay, many people think that Twilight is a terrible book just because the movies sucked. Let me tell you right now, Twilight is an amazing book, an amazing series. Honestly, you would be lucky to be able to actually read it and have the privilege to reading it. It is an amazing book. The writing is so much better than the movie and the way it seems really cheesy, her Bella and Edward, whereas in the book it's sweet and it's fun. And I love that about this book. And so, obviously, most of you most likely know what happens in the book, but there's a few things you may not know that happen in the book. So, if you are planning on reading this book, though, you either already have or you never will, but I hope you will change your mind and end up doing so, then I would like you to move on. I guess you could spoil yourself if you wanted to, but I don't really recommend it. Wow. Twilight is not good for my skin tone. Nope. Anyways. <clears throat> And so I hope you guys end up reading it. I know it's very controversial right now how sucky Twilight is and everybody's picked on for loving Twilight. I don't know why, because it's an amazing book, but I recommend you go read it. And if not, you can spoil yourself and make fun of me for loving Twilight, but I don't care. Let's go. Okay, so one of my favorite scenes in the Twilight books are the biology scenes. It doesn't really... Sh tell you much about the biology in the movie, but the biology scenes are my favorite. It's, I love, oh, the blood testing. When she's testing her, like, they're doing blood testing, and she sees, like, she smells blood, and she, like, gets sick and faints, and then Mike has to carry her out, but Edward comes right into the rescue, and Mike hates Edward. Mike is like, Right? And then, oh, I just love that scene where it's like, she's in, and Bella's like, oh no, not him. He, no. And so he picks her up to carry her to the nurse's office. And she's like, whining around, like, put me down. I don't want you to see me like this. And it's so funny because it instigates all of our teen girl insecurities. And I just think it's hilarious how it's being brought to life. Next. We shall talk about... Okay, the relationship between Bella and Edward in the books are so, is so much nicer and sweeter. And it's a lot more gradual than just abruptly I'm getting in this car and going to school with him like that. It's it's a lot different. And so, like, they had, like, this question day. So they each get one day to ask questions. And it's, it's cute because half the time Edward won't answer her questions. And half the time she's answering her questions based on the way he looks that day so when he asks her what her favorite color is and she's like Tobaz he's like why and she's like cause that's the color of your eyes today <laughs> now it was funny like obviously it's a love story but it evolves into much more than that it turns into this big showdown between vampires and finding the right person it's not about needing a guy there's no place in this book that says you need a guy. She does, she does perfectly fine without it. Actually, he's the one who causes all her trouble. And so, I honestly don't get why people think that that's the message in Twilight. I think the message in Twilight is that love conquers all. Love is important, and it's needed in an everyday basis. And But there's also the thing where if you come to caught up in love, things like what happened at New Moon could happen, yeah, and so, oh my god, it makes me so mad, though, when people are all, like, oh, Twilight's so bad, 
Twilight sucks. Twilight, Twilight's stupid. Twilight's cheesy. <laughs> Shut! It's not. If you read the book, you'd actually know, but you're too lazy to actually read the book and figure it out for yourself. So that's why people like me are doing things like this and ranting about it. Twilight books are the... They are what started me on reading. That and The Hunger Games are the two series that actually started me on reading. Like, I always read, but those were the two books that actually started me getting into actually delving into the worlds instead of just reading it and putting it away later. It introduced me to a new world that I live and prosper in and I love. And... Okay, Jacob in the books is a lot more discreet and not as... Hey, Bella. I love you. You know, and it's just... It's such a good book. I know this is a short review, but most of you already judged and cast off Twilight, which isn't fair to Stephanie Myers or the book franchise because you're not actually giving it a chance, you're just basing it on what you think and assumptions can lead to bad things. And so assuming is what gets you in messes in the first place. But Twilight is so good. The way it's written and I love Twilight. I am not afraid to admit it. I love Twilight. I love the love story, I love the action in it, I love the fact that she's so selfless and willing to do anything. I, there's nothing more I can say, but I think you guys are all wrong. Twilight is something you could look up to. You could look up to Bella. Though the actors may not do the characters justice in the movie, and the plot may not do the book justice, but it is truly an incredible franchise, and I believe that Twilight's the beginning of everything, at least in the book world. Thumbs up if you agree. I know, I'll get some. And the vampires in it are all like, to suck your blood. You know, it's not like you guys always make fun of the vampire sparkling, but it makes sense. And when you read it, it's not as cheesy or odd as they make it. And it's not glittering, it's more like, it's luminous. They're luminous. They're not glittery. They're not shiny. They're luminous. And that's how it's supposed to be. So don't go assuming. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this book rant. I guess it's a rant. I guess it's a review. I don't really know what it is anymore. All I know is I'm talking about Twilight. So take it that way. Um, by the way. Yeah, by the way, Jacob and his wolf pack say that you should probably click that button down there that reads subscribe just because they think you might be able to come become one of the alpha pack and they really want you to be able to get the chance. Yeah. You might want to do it, you know, help us out a lot. And don't forget to write down your book suggestions down there in the comments below and we'll try to get through all of them. You can also comment who you'd rather do the review, whether it be me, Kira, or Mega. You may choose. And so, yeah, that's the end of my Twilight rant review. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later, bookworm.